Terrifying tentacles of war are expanding tonight in an anxious Middle East, waiting for Israel's response after Iran's most intense strike on the country ever. Israel's prime minister said today Israel's fight is not just with Iran, but with its web of militias, including Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel's military releasing these images today of what it says are its troops. On the same day, it revealed eight of its soldiers were killed in ground clashes with Hezbollah in Lebanon. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Gaza, another front in the war, Israeli ground and air operations killed 51 people, including women and children, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. CTV's Heather Wright starts us off with a region on edge. Israel released video today showing its troops in southern Lebanon. What's not seen is the intense fighting with Hezbollah. Israel says eight of its soldiers were killed in the first day and a half of its ground invasion into Lebanon. We are at the height of a difficult war against Iran, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, as his government weighs its response to Iran's missile barrage. I think it's going to be very dramatic, and this will have an enormous effect on the Middle East in terms of the Iranian retaliation and maybe the spillover to original war. Iran's president says he is not seeking war. But warned today his country will respond to any Israeli retaliation. U.S. President Joe Biden says he's been in touch with Israel and G7 countries and opposes any Israeli strikes on Iran nuclear sites. All seven of us agree that they have a right to respond, but they should respond in proportion. Iran fired roughly 200 missiles at Israel yesterday, using some of its most advanced weaponry. One death was reported, a Palestinian man who was hit by missile shrapnel in the occupied West Bank. In Gaza, Israeli airstrikes in Khan Yunis killed at least 51 people, according to Gaza's health ministry. The IDF says Hamas has embedded command centers within schools, where displaced people are sheltering. Hamas has also taken responsibility for the attack in Jaffa on Tuesday. Two gunmen opened fire on a train, killing at least seven people. With violence escalating, Canada's Prime Minister reiterated his call for a ceasefire. As an international community, we have to continue to do everything we can uh, to call for peace and stability, which means uh, calling for a ceasefire between Hezbollah and Israel, calling for a uh, ceasefire in Gaza. G7 leaders spoke today to discuss Iran's attack and coordinate a response, including new sanctions. And while the group expressed concerns over the escalation, they insist a diplomatic solution is still possible. Omar. All right, Heather, thank you.